What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George and today we have the privilege of playing the Reserve Club out at Woodside Plantation here in Aiken, um, switching it up from AGC and this course is legit. Um, I've only played here like three times so it's gonna be fun to see how low I can shoot from the very back tees. It's a uh, championship course. Um, I'm excited so let's get into it. Not gonna lie, the warm up was about a three out of ten. So I know you guys have experienced that. Go, go hit balls, and you're just you just don't have it. But you got to go to the course anyway. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm, we're gonna go out there, figure it out, and try to score as low as we can and play with what we got. All right, hole number one here is 420 yards. Um, slight dog leg right. Yes, Wesley, it's a dog leg right. Um, I'm gonna take the aggressive approach. I'm gonna hit driver because it fits my eye. I have no clue, but I smoked it and it should be pretty good. All right, we are off and running. And I'm not kidding you that that shot was like 10 times more solid than anything I hit on the range. Um, I hit it, I did pull it a little bit. Um, but again, I've played here three or four times. Don't remember the holes. So that's honestly what I'm excited about to kind of show you guys. A course that I'm very unfamiliar with to see how good, bad, or average I play. Um, and maybe talk about some strategy for a, kind of a, a less familiar course. Um, any more ums, and we should be good to go. And that's what you get for not really knowing much about a golf course because I thought I hit a pretty good shot. But as you can see, <laughs> welcome to the reserve. All right, there's my ball. And the pin is somewhere over there, so I'm gonna have to hit a little hook through this little gap. I mean, not what I was expecting. I can't exactly get you behind the ball because these trees are here, but I've got 115, I'm gonna hit a 50 degree, and that gap is it's pretty big, so just a slight draw with this 50 degree should uh, do the job. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, fist pumping after the second shot of the day. So the gap that I was going through is right here, which is um, honestly, it's really pretty big with a wedge, but the pin right there, um, slight draw, hit it to like 20 feet. I've got like 25 feet for birdie now. It is absolutely incredible out here right now. And look at this shot from the woods. I mean, I could have been out of bounds. I was like two feet from being out of bounds. But now we got a birdie putt. So, and, and it's uphill. Yep, just a total classic George move, um, getting the ball out of frame on a putt. You guys are probably used to it by now. Far. All right, hole number two is 380 yards on the scorecard. So I'm gonna go with a hybrid because there are bunkers up the right that I'm not sure that I'll be able to carry with my driver. So I'm gonna hit this in hopes to have pitching wedge in. Welcome to the first uh, George Cam, and one tip of advice for um, for playing a course that you haven't played before that you don't play that much is always play a hair more conservative than you will your home course. Um, you know, the comfort level is not quite there, so especially early on, you always want to go slightly more conservative if it doesn't fit your eye. So that's why on this hole, I hit hybrid instead of driver, um, and I still have wedge in. So, All right, there's my ball. There's the pin. 135 yards. Should be a really good pitching wedge. feet for birdie and here you go for the people who don't think I say my divots there you go all right here we go good look at birdie big old swinger though big old left to right downhill down grain oh boy fight fight ball is, is it out of frame yet are we still in frame <laughs> if I am then so be it all right Hoo-wee, these greens are kind of slippery. So after two holes, even par, two pretty pede pedestrian pars, um, not upset. So as we head to the third hole, game feels good. I'm in good shape to uh, to break par today. I like my chances. Look 
at this. I mean, this is definitely gonna be the thumbnail. All right, so we got 210 playing down, probably 15. So I'm gonna go with my six iron, which is my 195-ish club, and just hit it smooth. Oh, be right. Be a one. Just a hair right, but a little bit long, but that was pure. Low key, there's my glass. First glass touch of the day, I think. Maybe the third, I, I don't even know anymore. But low key, I striped it, and I didn't really know exactly the distance, but um, I just picked my 195 club, hit it solid, probably about 30 feet too long. And in a tournament, definitely not, definitely would not be mad at that because hit a solid shot, just miscalculated the, um, miscalculated the slope. Also, comment down below, do you think I will break par today to courses that I don't ever really play from the tips with the greens really, really fast? So comment down below, let me know your predictions. And if someone guesses correctly, might just have to send you a sleeve, sleeve of golf balls. Guys, check this out. I don't even have to use croquis anymore. Got some glass. Sorry, I don't, know where, I don't know where to look, but I got some glasses hooks that I think are gonna do the trick. I haven't had to like push my glasses up, and I'm just merely touching out of habit. So, and also, how weird do I look without glasses? Should be breaking a hair to the right. I think I'm gonna go with my chipper, my 54 degree. Whoa, whoa. Man, these greens are nice. Whew. Whew. <laughs> okay, okay, I can breathe now. It's a good par. Um, after three, I'm even. Game's feeling good. Stroke feels really, really good. So if I get some good birdie looks, I'm telling you, I think I can take it low on this side and the whole the whole 18. All right, welcome back to George Cam. The key to golf for me today is gonna be patience. I need to be patient because I'm playing well, putting well, just gonna have to wait on those birdie opportunities and not try to force anything early. So if I can stay patient, we should be good to go. All right, so you can see on the course map that it's a slight dog leg right, but it's blind from my side. Um, I think I gotta hug that bunker or maybe stay just a little bit left of it to be optimally in the fairway. Hugged it just a hair, but I don't, I don't know. So I'll bounce on grass. Okay, okay, okay. There is nothing like a ball flying through the air on a blind hole that you're not really sure what the hole does, and you don't know if it's going to go out of bounds in a water hazard or stay in the fairway. But I think I should be. I saw it bounce pretty softly, so I should be in the fairway. Maybe the slight rough or the light rough um, up the left side. Oh yeah, we're good. There's my ball. There's the green. Ooh, this is a pretty little shot. All right, so we got 118 to a front pin, water short. 120 is my max 54 degree, and that's what I'm going with. I'm going to the aggressive route. I'm going with a 54. Um, I'm feeling good about my swing, so I'm just gonna go for it. And it paid off, about 12 feet. Yes. Man, that feels good. Right after I gave myself a little pep talk saying, hey, just be patient, lo and behold, make birdie. So through four holes, Minus one, um, putter feels nice. And these green, like when greens are this good and you're putting good, whew, it's a fun combo. Hole number five is a par four, and this one's just Johnny Sanderson right over that bunker. That's really good. All right, so I have 100 yards to a back pin. Uh, my stock lob wedge is about 100 yards, but given the pins in the back and long looks like it's no good, I'm gonna play about a 92 yard shot. And if I come up five, 10, 15 feet short, that's all right. Ooh. 
That was nice. Well, I guess I could have been a little more aggressive. Um, we had a little more room behind that pin than I thought, but still, I mean, look, got 12 feet, 10 feet for birdie. I'll take it. <sighs> the putter is hot. I think after all these years of watching Wesley just cash everything, I think they're starting to finally kind of come my way. I guess by osmosis. <laughs> oh, does that even make sense? Putting via, getting better via osmosis from watching Wesley? I don't know, but regardless, minus two through five holes. I'm telling you what, this putter is hot. Hold on. Kind of like this, uh, this says. Oh baby, I'm hot today. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyway, head to the sixth hole. Guys, it's time. Let's go, come on. That's all. <laughs> all right, hole number six is 615 yards into the wind. Definitely not getting there. I mean, heck, Bryson might not even get there today. Um, but I'm gonna be starting it at that bunker with my cut. Carried it, sweet. All right, here's my ball. There's the green somewhere up there. As you can see, not that wide of a fairway um, from 615. So it's a really, really good hole. Just right of the green, really good. All right, so if anyone wants to tell me, go ahead and tell me in the comments, tell me about your best ever golf shot. Um, Mine, personally, is my first ever hole-in-one. I had 165 or so yards to a back right pin at Northwoods. I was like 12 years old, hit a six iron, literally hit it, you know, hit it perfect. Uh, ball lands and people I'm playing with were like, I think that went in. I'm like, really? Are you sure? I never, I never saw it. We get up there, it's in the hole. So 12 years old, my first hole-in-one, I think will go down as like my best golf shot ever. Tell me, what are you guys, what are y'all's best golf shot ever? All right, so I'm gonna try to land it somewhere in there, bounce once, check a little bit, and leave myself like a foot, if not go in. But first, we gotta walk about 20 more yards farther back. All right, hole number seven, par four, dog leg left. Um, I'm gonna hit hybrid, it's like 400 yards, not exactly sure what's up there, so I'm gonna take more of the um, conservative approach given not entirely sure what the hole does or what's lurking up there. Oh, hung out to the right a little bit, but that's why you hit hybrid. Because if that would have been three wood or driver, it probably lands on the cart path or just over, it goes out of bounds. But since it was hybrid, probably gonna have pitch wedge or nine iron into the green. All right, so my pops always used to say, when in doubt, just go conservative. So that's what I did. I hit hybrid, I hit my hybrid long enough where I can easily have wedge or nine iron into the green. Um, but conservative doesn't mean like you're playing like weak or you know playing scared. No, it's you, you pick a conservative line or a club and still make an aggressive swing um, like I did here. So. If you bear with me, you will see. I got 168 downhill downwind, which is about a 160 club or 160 shot, which is my nine iron. So, moral of story, went conservative, didn't know it was up here, and I still have nine iron into the, nine iron into the green. Just on the right side of the green. Good swing. So here we go. Putt it birdie for four in a row. Can we do it? Big breaker. Just like that. Boy, 
four in a row, four in a row, anyone? Alrighty, no harm, no foul. Would have loved to continue the birdie streak, but minus three through seven holes is still pretty solid. Oh, God. Well, guys, that was bad. Phew! I'm telling you what. Those are the trees that it hit. And uh, let's just go ahead and ride to my golf ball real quick, why don't we? That's so lucky because if it doesn't hit the trees, it's out of bounds. Like, no, no chance it stays in bounds. But here we are, you know, just in the fairway. <laughs> Voila. Now, the, the pin is way, way down there, so we're just gonna be laying up. All right, so I got like 305 downhill. Um, have no clue what's around that green, but I'm gonna go with seven iron. Probably should get me around 100 yards. But we're just gonna limp our way <laughs> through this hole apparently, but we got 130 downhill, probably playing about a 115 shot, so I'm going with sand wedge. All right, right on line, about 15 feet short. That's a really good shot. And the fact that I have a birdie putt after those first, <laughs> first two shots, oh, fist pump. Now this is a great risk reward par five. Pretty small green, bunkers there. Over the green is just death. Short, not not bad, but not great. Um, and that gives you an idea. That's where we, where we were where we were hitting from. Sorry for the stumbletron, but here we go. Good looking birdie. Wow, it actually went that way. All right, you're going to have those holes every now and then. Um, three under through eight holes. Bad drive, bad layup. Um, redeemed it with a wedge. Bad putt. Uh, but all in all, par. Remain at three under, heading to the ninth hole. So, right where, right where we want to be. All right, we got 175 to the back pin, dead into the sun. So, I'm looking straight in the sun, so you guys are <laughs> going to have to look in the sun. But I'm going to go with the eight iron. See it. I think left side of the green. I don't know. I got one hole left on this front nine, but heading to the back nine, I'm kind of fighting my swing a little bit. Um, and these are the rounds that it, where it gets kind of fun because you know you, you never like struggling with the full swing, but when you are, it's kind of like a challenge, a puzzle. You try to figure it figure it out, and it makes golf way more challenging. But honestly. Looked, it looked through the right lens, it couldn't be more fun. Oh heck yeah, we'll take this. Had no clue where it was, couldn't see it because I was blinded, as you guys probably were too, but no good looking birdie. A um, little left to righter, just like this. Go man, come on. And that, folks, is how you end the front nine. Let's go. Four under, 32, um, played some good golf. I had one hole where I struggled, hole number eight, as you guys saw, but I overcame, bounced back, hole number nine, hit a good iron shot, then cashed the putt. Um, man, my putter was pretty incredible this nine. I made a lot of birdie putts. I think four birdie putts outside of you know 10 feet, eight feet. Um, driving was pretty good, iron game was solid as well. Hit really good wedges, all in all. I mean, we'll take that one for sure. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this front nine. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow if you're watching on Monday uh, for the back nine here at the Reserve. But um, like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you guys. Oh yeah, and we smoked par. Our goal coming out here was to shoot under par. I mean, we had that thing done by like the second or, or like the fourth hole. So anyway, let's get ready for number 10.